This is Eugene O'Loughlin, Lecture in Computing at the National College of Ireland, and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to create a preacher chart in Excel 2010. So first thing we're going to do is understand what a preacher chart is. Then we need to prepare data for drawing a preacher chart, and finally we're going to follow a simple step-by-step -step procedure to draw the preacher chart. So first of all, what is a Pareto chart? Well, the Pareto chart is based on the Pareto principle, and this principle states that for many events, 80% of the effects come from 20% of the causes. So therefore, it's important to know what 20% of the causes are, which ones uh, out of the whole lot they are. This is a typical Pareto chart that you see here. Along the left-hand side, we have the actual frequency of, for example, numbers of complaints or numbers of defects. Across the bottom, we would have the names or types of those defects that there are. I've just labeled them A, B, C, and D here. And on the right-hand side, we would have the cumulative percentage going right up to a value of 100%. So this is typical of what a Pareto chart would look like. So how do we draw these in Excel? So let's switch over to Excel. And in Excel, I have a small number of data here showing. I have complaint types for a hotel. And along, down along the left-hand side in column A, I have the different types from heating, reservations, decor, and so on. And in column B, I have the numbers of complaints that have been recorded over a period of time. So this uh, is 10 for heating, 155 for reservations, and so on. So I want to be able to draw a Pareto chart uh, based on these data. So there's a few things I need to do first. First off, I want to order my rank order my data here so that I've got the highest number at the top and the lowest at the bottom. So this is straightforward to do. Select the data ribbon across the top here and there's a button here uh, with the Z to A button which sorts your data from s largest to smallest. So just click on that button, uh, expand the selection and click sort. And what this does then is you can see Excel has uh, now moved the highest number of complaints up to the top and the lowest number of complaints down at the bottom. So my data are now rank ordered. Now I want to get to cumulative percent, and in order to calculate the cumulative percent, I'm going to need the cumulative number. So I'm going to put that in here. Um, and the first cell here in C2, well, cumulative number is going to be the same value as is in cell B2 here. So I'm just going to say equals, select cell B2, and press enter. Next, for a cumulative number, I want to add this number here that's now in C2 to the number that's in B3 to get a cumulative value. So that's straightforward enough. Equals C2 plus B3 and press enter. And you can see here that 287 plus 155 is equal to 442. And I'm going to use Excel's expand tool here to copy that formula down to the remainder of the cells. And we can see down at the end here that there's a total of 691 complaints recorded over the period of time. So this is our total mark. Now we're almost there. We now need to calculate a cumulative percentage. So I'm going to need a formula to do this, and a formula for the percentage is relatively straightforward. I want to know the cumulative percent for each of these values here. So, first off, I need to calculate how much 287 is percentage-wise of 691. So my formula here is going to read something like this. Put in equals, I need a bracket here, um, cell C2 divided by cell C16 down at the end over here, closing bracket, and multiply this by 100 to give me a percentage value. Now, one thing we need to do here is I'm going to copy this formula down, and I want to have an absolute cell reference for cell uh, C16. So I do that by putting in a dollar sign on either side of the letter C here. Okay, that gives me an absolute cell reference. And press Enter, and I'm going to once again use Excel's expand tool to copy the formula down for the rest. I now want to just tidy my data a little bit, click on the Home tab, select Format, and select Format Cells here. And in my Number category, I'm just going to make this available as uh, one decimal place to make my data look a little bit tidier. So now I've got the cumulative percent for all my uh, complaints over the period. I'm now ready to draw the preacher chart. So to do this, I'm going to select three of the four columns. So first of all, I'm going to select the information that's in column A. I'm now selecting what's in column B here as well by holding down the control key and using my mouse to select the cells. And I'm selecting column D. And you'll see I'm not selecting column C at all here. Choose the Insert tab. There is no option in Excel 2010 to draw a Pareto chart, so we're going to have to use another type here. So select the down arrow button here to bring up all the different types of charts. And the one you're looking for is a line chart. It's in the middle here. It's called Line with Marker. So select that and click on OK. And this draws a chart for us first of all here. So let me just make this a little bit bigger so that so we can cover all the data with this. 
Now, it's almost there, but there's a few things that we need to do with, do with this. You'll notice, for example, that the cumulative percentage is not shown on the right-hand side here. So I'm going to select the cumulative percent uh, red dotted line here and right-click on it and select the option Format Data Series. So when I do that, I get the series options here, and I want to select the secondary axis option here to put the second axis on the right-hand side. Select close to close that window now, and you can see the cumulative percentage is shown here on the right-hand side. In order to show this up to maximizing as 100, just right-click on the axis and select format axis. You have an option up here in the axis options where the maximum is. Uh, change the fixed one, change it from auto to fixed, and so that you can put in a value of 100 here and select close and you can see now we have a full value for our axis going up to 100% here. Normally in a burrito chart the uh, number of complaints or the num frequency over here is listed as a bar chart so we want to change that type here. So uh, I've selected the blue dotted line, go up to change chart type here on the uh, ribbon at the top and just select it straightforward, the first one in the top left hand corner, the column and click on OK and this will display my data now in a format that's typical of what a Pareto chart will look like. In this particular instance here we have 15 categories of complaints and we can see if we move our mouse up over the third one of these here um, that we reach a value of 80%. So 3 out of the 15 options, which is 20%, account for 80% of the overall problems and we can see that the Pareto principle applies in this case. So that's how you use Excel 2010 to draw a Pareto chart. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.